podcast. Some might have said we were an unlikely pair, but I wouldn't write our story any other way. We really did stumble into each other's lives when we were both a little bit upside down. And it feels like we just so naturally put each other right side up again. With you, the pieces of my life fell into place. Cassidy and I met at work. Uh, we were working on the same platoon. We would cross paths. We never really spoke much at first just because he always seemed pretty quiet and closed off, but I always found him very intriguing. And so I just kind of started chatting with him and chatted his ear off actually a little bit, forced him to talk to me, and we totally hit it off. When we decided we were just going to hang out one day, and he knew that I had some sentimental ties to Brockville. Uh, he just started driving and we drove to Brockville completely unprompted. We just went down there and had a day on King Street and I knew right then he was the one. Cass, you changed my life. I was completely upside down before I met you and you absolutely put me right side up again. You are the reason why I am happy and why I am living my fullest life. For anyone who knows Sarah knows it's, it's easy to love Sarah. Always been so easy with Sarah. She is my best friend. It was never a like, should I, or do I want to? It kind of just like, like that thought that uh, just want to like spend all my time with her just translated into the, you know, spend my life with her, yeah. Sarah is color in a world of gray. Like she's so vibrant and full of life and love. Couldn't imagine my life without her. She's who I want to spend the good times with, the bad times with, the weekends, the weekdays, the work, the play, like all that stuff. Yeah, she's my person. The moment I met you, it's like my soul said, I'm home. Cass, you are the best thing that has ever happened to me, and you will always be the best thing that has ever happened to me. I will choose you because you love me for me. I will choose you for the rest of my days. I love you. Sarah, you are the queen of my world the absolute center of my universe. The sun rises with your smile, the stars sparkle in your eyes. You are color in a world of gray. Falling in love with you was as natural as breathing. I am thankful for every twist and turn on the road that has led me here to you. I've liked you from the very first moment I saw you. Through thick and thin, through whatever this life may bring, through highs and lows, ebbs and flows together. I am excited for all of our tomorrows. I love you, baby girl. For as much as Sarah Margaret Clark McGregor and Cassidy Cornell LeClaire have made this sacred covenant of marriage before God and each of us here, I, Kimberly Heath, by the virtue of the powers vested in me by the Marriage Act of Ontario, do hereby pronounce you to be married. May the grace of Christ attend you, the love of God surround you, and the Holy Spirit keep you all your days. And now I invite you to seal this marriage with a kiss. When I ask Cass, 
best to describe Sarah in two words. He replied, she is hardworking and has a booty that just won't quit. Again, sorry Ian. <laughs> if that isn't true love, I don't know what is. I have seen firsthand the good, the bad, and the ugly with these two, and what has never wavered is their love for one another and their drive to be the best versions of themselves for each other. These two are the kinds of people I feel lucky to know, and if you actually get to do life with them, you will never stop being grateful. I'm so excited to see what the future has in store for you both, and I'm grateful I get to have a front row seat. To Sarah and Cass, I wish you a lifetime of happiness. Cheers! <laughs> I have known Cassidy uh, since paramedic school in 2005. He uh, introduced himself one day while we were in the locker room. I was toweling myself off after our uh, workout. Uh, he came over to me and he randomly said, well, I'll tell you what he said. He said, nice tattoos, bro. Well, one of my most fondest memories is of Cassidy's head over heel phase. A lovely little firecracker, Miss Sarah McGregor. It was wonderful seeing that progress. I love you too. We love you too. Everyone here loves you too. And cheers to this wonderfully sexy couple. We would like to raise our glasses to everybody here and to our mom, dad, Papa Ray, and Mama Lynn. You've always been there for us, even when sometimes we thought we had nobody, even when we thought we didn't need anybody. We understand your love more and more as days go by. We say I love you all of the time, and when we part ways, when we hang up the phone, and when we sign our cards, we don't say I love you by habit, we say it to remind you that you are the best things in our lives. Cheers.